So I just got out of Terrifier 3. What's your opinion on it? It was all right. It was all right. <laughs> I didn't love it as much as I wanted to. Mm -hmm. uh, the kills were great. You know, you're going to get what you're coming for as far as as far as that goes. But uh, I don't know. I feel like it was lacking a little bit in the story department, which I know was a lot of the criticisms with uh, Terrifier 2. But this one just felt more rushed. And, yeah, the more I think about it, it was just a very rushed movie, it feels like. There at the end. That's where I'm at. All right, so what was your take? I really enjoyed it. I was uh, not the biggest fan of the first one, and then I loved the second one. So I had pretty big expectations while trying to avoid the hype. And what I like about the third one is I feel like it's a bit better paced. It's not, uh, it doesn't drag quite as much as the third act of the second one is. All the kills are their own standout sequence. It doesn't feel like it's a... Uh, a bunch of people just getting killed quickly like all of them have the attention to detail they're all their own five minute blood gore fest i like having a more unhinged sienna and i think david howard thornton still is finding ways to be like twistedly funny and my favorite part about it is the vintage christmas look like it doesn't look like christmas from 2024 it looks like christmas from like 93 and i like that about it i gotta agree with what he said and i gotta agree with what he said i'm sort of in the middle I'm more positive than I am negative, but for the most part, you know what you came for when it came to these movies, the kills, basically. I think they hit an all-time high with it, in my opinion, but either way, I'll see you guys in the next video.